Hey guys, Justin here. I figured I'd do a what I eat in a day video today since I got the day off and uh, got some time. So uh, to start the morning, I'm going to do a big like herbal hot chocolate. Uh, so in here I got some uh, stuff already in there. It's just on a really light simmer. Um, I don't really cook any of my food. I just do it with like uh, roots to extract the medicinal properties as well as possible. So I got uh, some Hoshu Wu in there already. It's a, it's a kidney herb from China. It also supports your adrenal glands, which sit on top of your kidneys and uh, produce hormones and stuff to make your kidneys function properly. They also produce adrenaline. I also got some uh, ashwagandha root powder, um, which I got in there as well, which is another good adrenal gland. It's good for uh, libido and energy. I also got some rhodiola rosea root powder in there, which is good for anti-anxiety and depression and stuff like that. Um, and then I also got just a few hawthorn berries in there. They're really good for your heart and your uh, vascular systems. I think I got just like three or four. I got some shisandra berries in there. They're a good uh, male adaptogenic tonic uh, herb. I only got like three of them in there. They're really like bitter and, and sour. So, But, uh, you know, I'm going to be putting some cacao in there so it should mask it pretty well. So, yeah, I'm also going to put the, the cacao powder, just a few spoonfuls. Um, I'm going to use the coconut nectar as a sweetener. I already have a bit of cinnamon in there and I might put a bit more depending on how it tastes after. Um, and then once all this is boiled, I'm just going to uh, throw some go-to cola as well as some dandelion leaf and some uh, chanca piedra powder on top. The chanca piedra is also called stone breaker. It's supposed to break up kidney stones. The dandelion leaf is a liver cleanser, among other things, and the go-to cola is really good for your nervous system and your brain. And then here's some chaga that I'm just going to throw in there right now. And yeah, I'm just going to let this simmer for maybe about a half hour and then uh, throw it into um, a French press there with uh, the other uh, leaf herbs and my hot chocolate will be ready. Alright, so I just poured uh, my uh, mixture there that I boiled into the French press. Just going to add the leaf powders because I don't want them to get too hot. So here's the go-to cola. And then we got the chanca piedra. I do about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of each of these herbs, just a little sprinkle. And then uh, dandelion leaf powder is the last one here. And that's it. Grab the top of my French press and just push it a bit down so the herbs are submerged. And then I'm just going to let that steep for a little while, uh, throw it in a mason jar, and put this uh, bit of this coconut nectar in there. So here's the final hot chocolate mixture after uh, it was drained. Uh, I did add a bit more cacao and a bit more uh, cinnamon as well as some coconut nectar. Gave it a little mix and a, and a shake and yeah, I'm going to drink this on the way to the post office there. Just got to go ship off a few things so I'll show you guys what I eat next. So uh, just in my basement here, uh, sorting through some apples. I just picked these guys uh, on my way back from the post office. They were growing uh, actually beside my old elementary school and uh, yeah I picked a whole bunch of them and I'm gonna go back and pick more later uh, this week because they can probably ripen up a bit more even. And I'm also going through these apples that I picked uh, in one of my last videos there where I was foraging for apples and chaga. And I'm just going through them, taking out kind of the, the bad looking ones, putting them aside. I'm either going to throw them out or uh, dry them or make applesauce or something. And then I'm putting the good ones over here and, uh, you know, just so that the bad apples don't spoil the whole bunch. So probably going to eat lunch in a bit and I'll catch up with you guys then. Hey guys, just having lunch here now. Uh, my cat's having a bit of that nori seaweed. I broke some up into her bowl and I'm going to break up those pieces beside her bowl as well. And uh, as for me, I'm uh, going to be having this watermelon here. I uh, cut half of it off. I'll probably eat the whole thing, but just gonna wait to see how I feel after the first half. And uh, yeah, this is lunch. Catch up with you guys for my next meal. All right, so I did end up eating that whole watermelon, and it was awesome. It was a really good watermelon, maybe the best I've had this season. Um, and down here, I just got a few uh, wild apples that I washed up. These apples are really good. Uh, I don't know what kind they are. I wish I did. They're like an empire, like a Spartan or something. I just found them growing along the side of the road and. I'm going to have all six of those right now, and I will catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's supper time. I'm about to make a massive salad. I'm here in my room because, uh, unfortunately, i got to come in here if I want to avoid the endless uh, parade of propaganda that goes on in my living room. Usually it's the news followed by one show after another all night, and it just bothers me consciously, and I don't want to be affected subconsciously by it, so I come in here to make my salad most nights, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I have to put in it. So I went up to the garden uh, just a few minutes ago there and I picked a ton of uh, purple chard here. I also got a few leaves of red Russian kale. 
as well as a bunch of parsley. And then in the backyard, uh, we got oregano just growing like crazy all over the place. So I have a big pile of oregano here. Then I also got a few wild edibles. This is some wood sorrel I got. I also got a few uh, tender dandelion leaves down here, as well as some uh, chickweed. And chickweed's like really good for your lymph system. Um, and then over here I got my market stuff. So I got a ton of tomatoes I'm going to be throwing on top, as well as uh, an English cucumber down here that I'm going to be throwing on top. Then I got a bunch of dill as well that I'm going to be chopping up. I got uh, four green onions here. Um, I also got some heirloom carrots. I got some of each color. I got some purple ones. I got uh, a yellow one and I got uh, the classic orange. I also got half a jalapeno I'm going to be throwing in there. Um, with the tomatoes here, I got uh, there were add some tomatillos that were uh, going bad a bit, so I cut the bad parts out of them. I'm going to be chopping those up into my salad. I got the ground cherries, which I love so much. Uh, you take them out of the husk there. And then uh, the tomatoes, I got all kinds of different ones. I got this big white one. I got some of these yellow ones, and uh, then just some plain red ones, as well as uh, one of these uh, indigo rose tomatoes. Um, and, of course, I got some celery stalks here, as you can see. Um, and then over here, I got some applewood smoked dulse I'm going to be throwing in there, as well as uh, some curry powder. Um, I got a clove of garlic. Um, a bit of Himalayan salt I'm going to throw in, and then I got some pumpkin seeds which I'm probably going to chop up a bit and throw in, as well as this uh, black Malabar pepper and some olive oil. So I'm pretty sure that covers it. I'm just going to uh, get this stuff together and I will catch up with you guys when I'm done making it. So I got all the greens from uh, my garden and yard chopped up here and I just want to say something quick about these. I actually don't wash any of these. Um, People always like to talk about B12 and how if you don't eat any meat, you're not going to get any B12. So from what I understand, B12 is produced by organisms that live uh, in the soil and on the surface of plants. So if you're washing your plants before you eat them, you're getting rid of those organisms and you're losing some B12. And then also you get some from the dirt, but basically they come out of the dirt and crawl up onto the plant. And so they're all over the plant, not only in the dirt. So if you want your B12, just don't wash your outdoor uh, greens and you should be good to get some B12. Obviously you want to make sure they're not sprayed with pesticides or anything. This is all organic of course and all wild so I'm 100% good with that. And yeah, that's uh, that's my take on B12 and I'm just going to throw the rest of my salad together. So I got my greens mixed up with uh, my heirloom carrots as well as uh, the dulse, all my spices. Uh, chopped up the pumpkin seeds, put some olive oil in, and I also forgot to mention I uh, had a lemon hiding in there with my heirloom tomatoes. It was yellow, so it was like camouflaging in, and I forgot about it. But yeah, I have half a lemon in there. I juiced it, and then I put as much of the pith as I could in. And so now I'm just going to be chopping up this big English cucumber and all of these tomatoes and throwing that on top, and it'll be time to enjoy my salad. So I'm finally done throwing together my salad. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's got a ton of tomatoes on top as well as uh, the ground cherries and the tomatillos. Right underneath is a layer of cucumbers and then uh, it's like all the greens and fats and spices uh, that you guys saw me uh, show you earlier with uh, the dulse of course. And um, I've also been drinking spring water all day I should mention. Uh, I get it in a spring outside of town. I'm also going to just let you guys know that I like have never eaten this many uh, tomatoes in my life before. I absolutely love tomatoes now. Uh, since I started eating a raw diet in January of this year, I like gradually started becoming way more fond of uh, water-based foods like tomatoes, cucumbers, and melons, and yeah, so this is like probably more tomatoes than I ate in all of last year in like one salad, and this is a regular thing for me now. It's absolutely awesome. Also, if you guys have never tried ground cherries, man, definitely try them. They're like sweet tomatoes. They taste like some kind of berry. They're actually also called golden berries and Incan berries. Um, yeah, so try them out, and I will catch up with you guys in a bit probably because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some dessert later. So here's my little bedtime snack. I got a pile of coconut butter. If you guys have never heard of it, it's uh, just a whole coconut ground up and it's uh, dehydrated slightly to give it a buttery texture. It's really good stuff. I actually just ordered an entire gallon of it because uh, I really enjoy it and it's uh, some good fat coconut. It's really good for you. Um, and then I also got a piece of chocolate bar uh, that I made uh, just a few nights ago. Uh, this one has a bunch of different herbs in it. Uh, a lot of the ones I used this morning, um, some chaga, as well as, um, as you can see, it's got uh, some Brazil nuts in there, some red bananas, uh, dried red bananas, uh, some manuka raisins, some coconut, a bit of cinnamon on top, 
It also has uh, some milk thistle seeds. And uh, yeah, all my seeds and nuts, I uh, soak them to get rid of the phytates, which inhibit uh, enzymes that help your body digest food, so, yep. So, I did end up having seconds of that dessert, it was really good. I'm uh, gonna head to bed now, pretty tired, uh, gotta wake up early tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, have yourselves a good night, and take care.